Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will introduce you to the latest feature we added to Maverick Studio called Ambience Composer. You will find the new Ambience Composer panel at the bottom part of the user interface. The Ambience Composer is a panoramic view of the scene's illuminance designed to make placement of physical lights intuitive and easy. We will now go through what it can do and how to use it. Let's go to the Lighting tab in the library and drop a light over the Ambience Composer. The light is displayed automatically and can be orbited around the scene. The Normal Light tool, which since this release is accessible both in the IPR and the Ambience Composer, can be used to place lights so they will cast reflections in your objects. Let's move further away to get the lights in frame and see how they move in sync with the Ambience Composer. Note that the Ambience Composer does not bake lights in an HDR map or affect IBL lighting in any way. What the Ambience Composer does is provide additional tools for spherical placement of physical lights in the scene. If we enable the gizmo we may easily manipulate lights on the panel. Scaling rotation and translation options in addition to a context menu are available. Lights can be pushed further away or closer to the center of the scene with the mouse wheel. Let's now explore the buttons in the Ambience Composer toolbars. New lights can be created at some standard positions as in the lights panel. Normal light as mentioned earlier is used to position lights by their reflection on objects. Cam light is used to link the currently selected light to the camera's position and orientation. You can also clone or create symmetric lights. On the right toolbar you can enable the light manipulation gizmo. There is a grid that can be enabled to snap light positions to angles with a fixed granularity. There is a control for exposure that affects the ambience composer display only. There is also a control to rotate all the elements in the ambience as a block. If you click and drag this button you will see how the whole ambience rotates around the origin or around a user set scene pivot. The reset ambience deletes all the lights, disables the IBL, and all possible objects bound to the scene ambience. We may also save or load ambiences, which is a feature that many of you have requested. Let's go ahead and drop some pre-made ambiences to see what they look like. One thing that you may need occasionally is to detach a particular light from the ambience so the light will stay fixed when the ambience rotates. To this end, right-click on the light and select, Remove from ambience. You may bind the light back to the ambience with the reverse option. When a light is selected keep in mind that its attributes such as intensity or color can be configured from the attribute editor. An often handy feature is light transparency, which preserves light power and tone, but won't block light coming from behind. You may also of course drop HDRI environments from our lighting library. In this release we have added a pre-made collection of entirely procedural interesting gradients. Let's now see how to tackle some real cases of use with the new ambience composer. Let's begin with this scene where there's no ambience yet and the environment is just a flat color. We shall drop some HDRIs from the library to see what they look like. For best results we recommend that you start by adding one of the gradients in our library as a foundation and then dress the scene adding one light at a time.
We will drop lights on our model, which automatically enables the normal light tool for better positioning. We will adjust each light in the ambience composer, adjusting their intensity and creating our light setup one light at a time. If we pull backwards now we can see the physical lights we created floating around the main object. And if we rotate the ambience we will see how our light setup orbits as a whole around the designated scene pivot. Let's try another example and explore the ambience composer a bit more. We shall drop an interior HDRI to the scene. A tip here is that in order to avoid chromatic contamination in your scene you may desaturate the IBL map from the attribute editor. This will produce neutral color less lighting. Let's now create and scale a light to the left. From the context menu we select the add gradient option. And now we will configure the properties of the newly created gradient to see how the ambience composer and the scene react in sync. Editing the HDR profile of the gradient we may create a ramp and scatter highs and lows to achieve the wavy look we are after. We may also edit any other attribute from the gradient. The possibilities are truly endless. Don't forget about light transparency depending on whether you want to harden light contrast. Let's keep adding some more lights to complete the light setup. In the next scene we will see how to save and load ambiences, which has been requested by our customers many times. Here we have an ambience with plenty of light sources which we are about to save. We click the save button and select the output folder and file name, which usually will be called, my ambiences. You may need to create said folder if it does not exist yet, or add your own preferred folder in the library tab in the preferences dialog. Upon saving the new ambience file is picked up by the library panel. If we now reset the ambience we will delete all the lights and clear the IBL node. And if we drop back the ambience we just saved, we will restore everything to the state it was before saving. Let's reset again and create a new light setup for the scene. We edit the backplate, the IBL and add and manipulate some physical lights. When we're done we will save the ambience using a different file name. We now have two different ambience files which we may drag and drop whenever we want. A rather important tip for the sake of efficiency is to purge your scene before saving an ambience. This will produce smaller files that will drop faster. In the next example we will analyze a situation that may arise in your scenes occasionally. Say that we drop an ambience and all of a sudden lights show up oddly shrunk in the ambience composer. This happens because your model is far away from the origin which is where the ambience composer orbits around by default. For the ambience composer to really be useful we need to fix this by designating one of the main objects as the scene pivot. To do this go to the IBL properties and select an object as pivot in the ambience rollup. As soon as you edit on the ambience composer everything will be reprojected around the newly designated center.
Note that dropping a new ambience will reset the pivot because ambiences recall the pivot they were saved at. So we may need to fix this again by doing exactly the same. Should you need to change the pivot or revert to the origin you may disconnect the pivot by revealing its context menu. Bear in mind the meaning and the importance of the scene pivot when using the ambience composer. Let's study another example where we will attach a floor geometry to the ambience. Objects with a double hash symbol in the objects panel belong to the ambience and will be saved alongside the lights and the environment. Right clicking we may add or remove objects to the ambience. All the pre-made rooms and floors in our objects library belong to the ambience by default. Let's save the ambience now. Do not forget to purge the scene before doing so. We will save under the My Ambiences directory again. Let's now change the material of our room and move the lights around a bit. Let's purge and save a new ambience. Let's now add a reflective floor and zero the IBL backplate to produce a classic black background with reflective floor setup. We adjust the lights a bit. And save again. We have three different ambiences now. Let's drop them on the scene one by one. As you can see lights are oddly stretched in the ambience composer because this scene was modeled far away from the origin. So we must set the pivot from the IBL properties as we described before. We shall do the same with the other two ambiences we saved. So this is the presentation video for our Ambience Composer tool. We hope that you will benefit from all its potential. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.